Good morning to you and welcome back. The blue wave hitting a red wall in the Senate, but Democrats won control of the House, meaning some of President Trump's biggest critics are set to head top committees. So what does this mean for the president's agenda? Here to weigh in is GOP strategist and former presidential writer for George W. Bush, Ned Ryan. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, so, Jillian. What does yeah. this mean for the president trying to get things done? Well, not much is going to happen in the House, I can assure you of that, Jillian. If you think the last two years have been contentious, contentious you haven't seen anything yet. Uh, I think the only thing, two things that might happen potentially would be infrastructure and prison reform. But i got to tell you, Jillian, I don't think those happen either because I think the Democrats are committed to resistance. And they've been chomping at the bit to gain control of the House, and now they have control in Wow. Maxine Waters as chairman of financial services, Adam Schiff as head of intelligence, uh, intel committee, Jerry Nadler as head of judiciary. These are not middle of the road representatives, Jillian. These are far left. And I think they're going to overplay their hand. I think they are going to, for the next two years, I don't think they're going to be committed to doing any real legislation. I think it's going to be about investigation. And I think what's going to happen, there's two things that I think they're going to do. They're going to overplay their hand. I think they're going to go to the left and they're going to put in danger a lot of these new Democratic members who won, who ran as moderates and centrists. And what's going to happen over the next two years, they're going to compel those new members to go to the left. And they're also going to help Trump. And I think what, what's going to happen is they're going to help the Trump reelection uh, in 2020 by overplaying their hand. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's what I was going to say. Is don't you think a lot of people can see through the resist? Don't you think a lot of people want things to get done, especially, I mean, people on both sides? I, I think I think you're right, Jillian. I think we have obviously huge issues in regards to immigration, in regards to health care. I don't think you're going to see much happen in, in regards to that because here's the deal. The left, the base, the resistance is what's driving the Democratic Party. And it's the money. It's the grassroots. They are committed to resistance. They don't want to see Trump succeed. And, and for, the, for the Democrats, in their mind, to succeed, they've got to play to that base. Uh, the, the thing I will say, though, on this, the, the bright point from last night is gaining seats in the Senate. You can be assured that there will be one Trump agenda item that will continue to be extremely successful. That is the appointment and confirmation of young conservative Federalist Society judges. I think Trump's greatest legacy, his greatest triumph and achievement will be the complete reshaping of the federal judiciary and conservatives and Republicans can be confident that over the next two years that will continue to succeed. And when we started this conversation, you mentioned some of the uh, key things that, you know, we've been speculating, people have been talking about for weeks now is some of those, you know, changes here in committees, Maxine Waters overseeing big oh. banks, Adam Schiff taking chair of the House Intelligence Committee. What do you make of all of this now that this is very much a reality? Well, they've promised retaliation. I mean, you listen to Maxine Waters, and she has promised retaliation. Uh, Adam Schiff, I think, I, I, one of the things I think that's going to take place, Jillian, is I think House Democrats will basically take over the Russia investigation, and, and they'll take it over from, from Robert Mueller. I think they are committed for the next two years to running it themselves. So you'll see Adam Schiff really continuing that Russia investigation. I think the one thing that, that they might not be able to help themselves on again is impeachment, even though there's zero chance of anything happening in the Senate. Again, I think they're going to play to the left's base. I think the, left's ba the left is going to be clamoring for this. And I think they might actually consider the, some, something as stupid as impeachment. So, wow, strap it on for the next two years. It's going to be a wild ride. All right, Ned Ryan, thank you for joining us.